Today, I'll be crash testing my entire LEGO car collection to find out how safe LEGO cars really are for minifigures. And some of the results are pretty shocking. This is going to be a painful video. However, before we can crash test a single car, we'll first have to build a crash testing facility. So I started by stealing some road plates from the city. I'm sorry for destroying your city, but well, it's for experimental purposes. And after connecting the road plates, I built a big wall on one end of the runway. In the footage I found of real crash test, I saw this blue metal barrier that seems to take most of the impact. So I recreated that as well. As I've yet to build a mechanism to launch the cars into the wall, the first car to undergo a crash test is the remote controlled Cybertruck. Okay, I think I need to make that wall a bit stronger, as it literally bends with the road. So after that failed attempt, I tried to make the wall a bit more robust by adding two support pinners. This definitely feels more solid. Next up, I'll be building the slingshot to crash the cars into the wall. So I took two rubber bands and attached them to this wall by guiding them around these 1x2 panels. I attach the other ends of the rubber bands to two pillars on either side of the runway using a similar technique. I then built this platform with a pinhole in it, so I can lock the slingshot in place for launch. This thing requires a lot of force to load, and the car doesn't even reach the wall at all. So I loosened the rubber bands, placed the pillars further away, and built borders on each side of the runway to keep the wall in place. I think we're ready to test the first car of the day. I'll start with my own custom models, and later on in the video I'll be comparing their strengths against official LEGO sets. Whoa, that's actually really good. I'll have to give this car a 5 star rating. I really wasn't expecting that. However, the results quickly started going downhill when I tested the Lotus XE. Okay, the front is completely demolished and the roof has collapsed as well, but perhaps it can redeem itself in the next test. Real crash tests often involve testing different crash scenarios, such as side impact. So I found three of these shock absorbers that I connected together and I attached a brick to the end of them. So now by tossing these inwards, we create a spring-loaded brick. I then built a simple frame around the mechanism and I think we can now start testing the sides of the cars. I very simply fixed the Corvette and quickly rebuilt the Lotus. Now let's see how strong the side of this Corvette is. Well, that single part got launched into the bookshelf, but it didn't do much for the rest. And it didn't do much to the side of the Lotus either. So I think either the sides of my models are pretty solid, or this test just doesn't generate enough power. But to be completely honest, I think it's a combination of both. I continued crash testing the Bugatti Veyron. That one is still completely intact. That's another 5 star rating. Next up, I tested the Bugatti's rival, being the Koenigsegg Agera RS. That's interesting, the entire front end came off the car. However, I felt I was missing something. In real crash tests, you always see those airbags go off. So I want to try to recreate that with LEGO. My idea is to have a slider mechanism like this, to which I attach an airbag, which can then be pushed out of the dashboard in a crash. So I got to work and built a dashboard with some Technic LEGO parts that can be pushed down to deploy the airbag. Here is the mechanism and it seems to work quite well actually. Then I quickly built a very simple car around the mechanism which is not really based on a real existing car. Now let's put it to the test. So I placed the minifigure inside and let's see if this car equipped with an airbag actually does its job. Whoa, look at that! The airbag activated perfectly! This car is getting a 5 star rating for sure! Rear end crashes happen very often in the real world, so let's simulate one here too. I will place the Rimac Nevera here in the middle of the runway with its rear facing the Porsche 911 GT3. Let's see what happens. Alright, so nothing really happened to the Nevera's rear end. It's just the Porsche's front splitter that took all of the impact. Though after removing the car I did find some hidden damage on the Nevera. Another possible scenario is a high speed side impact. I positioned the Lamborghini Aventador sideways in the middle of the runway and I'll be launching the Mercedes 300SL Gullwing into it. Here we go. Well, that didn't really go as planned. Let's try that again. So I quickly mended the Mercedes and added a plate at the rear for more grip. The Mercedes finally didn't destroy itself before impact. Now the minifigure in the Aventador got launched out of its seat and there only is some minor damage to the bonnet of the Mercedes. That's it. Lastly, let's also try a front end collision with another car. The Audi R8 is placed on the track and here comes the Lamborghini Revuelto. 
Whoa, that Arrange is completely wrecked compared to the Rev Weld though. Which somehow seems to have mended itself during the crash. You can see the part flying off during the crash here. Yet it actually reattached itself too. That is phenomenal. <laughs> now let's also build some official LEGO Speed Champion sets to compare results with. I didn't know opening a LEGO set with one hand was this difficult. <laughs> and the first set I'll be building is the Lotus Avaya. Though do keep in mind that my models are built to represent the real cars as accurately as possible, while official LEGO sets are designed to be played with. Now let's see how this thing does. Well, that's definitely a better result compared to my Lotus. The next LEGO set I'll be building is the Pagani Utopia. I somehow always end up struggling to find pieces when building LEGO sets. Oh, there it is. After I got over my blindness and finished the Pagani, it was ready to set off. Okay, so both LEGO sets just simply bounced against the wall like a bouncy ball. And even though they are not directly comparable, I still think my own cars are not doing all that bad either. That's until I got to the last two cars remaining and tested the McLaren 600 LT. Well, that's catastrophic. I guess I'm giving this a 1 star rating. And the final car is the Maserati Gran Turismo. That's a weird occurrence. The front is still intact while one of the rear wheels flew off. I'll give this a rating of 4 stars. Well, that was my entire collection of LEGO cars. The building instructions for most of the cars in this video are available from the link in the description if you'd like to build one for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I better start cleaning up this mess now.